John Dean was a legendary Trent angler, especially of the 70s and 80s before he packed it in. He won Matchman of the Year in 1979-80 with a record number of points. And he developed a range of floats and a couple of match rods that were pretty much unsurpassed at the time. And if you can still get the John Dean stick floats, you'll find them excellent. I'm fishing here on the Dorset Stair with hemp and tears using a, my original John Dean splice tip match rod that dates back from 1981 with a John Dean 5 number 4 dome top stick float. They're brilliant floats, beautifully balanced. And some quite good quality ropes, although nothing over a pound. Some not far short though, like this one. John was a perfectionist when it came to fishing. He wouldn't have put his name to a rod unless it was perfect. And same went with the floats. He'd even go through all his shot at home to make sure that none of them had the split off centre, rejecting all those that were no good. The roach are coming thick and fast for me in an ideal swim. My favourite John Dean floats are the plastic stem pointed top floats like these. I've got plenty of them and they just fish perfectly. The dome top floats are better when there's a bit more boily water and I've put one on today. The ones I don't use so much are the wire stems. They were the slim ones and the thicker ones. These are the thicker ones and they were very much for the upper trend where it was much faster. There's something about these floats, you just put them through perfectly. The rod by today's standards feels a bit clunky, it's a little bit heavy at six and a half ounces. But you can fish with it all day, the action is good, it's a very good playing rod. Not as good as the latest ones if you start fishing somewhere with lots of carp, but for roach and dace it's truly excellent. Like John, I replaced the metal reel fittings with the uh, cycle inner tube, although it does move around a little bit. John was one of the uh, winning 1980 Nottingham Federation team that had a record point score on the Trent. Uh, it was said of John that he would win his section no matter where he drew and he did just that with 12 pounds of, of roach fishing a centre pin. Uh, almost a, an exhibition match for him. He was probably unlucky on the day that he didn't get one of the better sections. In this swim today there were uh, one or more big perch, in this case scattering the minnows, often chasing the bleak. But generally it was just the roach that kept coming in two and a half hours fishing that included fiddling around with the cameras at close on 50 roach. with a few days as well, making up the numbers, all on the tear. This rod, which I bought back in 1981, which is when it came out, um, I caught vast numbers of big roach back in the early 80s on the Dorset Froome and later on the Stour with it. It's almost got lucky qualities. In the, uh, around about 2008, John Searle asked me to get some uh, reference pictures for a roach book he was doing. So I took it fishing down on the Froom and promptly caught a two and a half pound roach. Seven years ago, I decided to have a, a 40 years on trip to the Upper Stour 
on a stretch I'd never fished before. Took this rod, uh, probably caught a roach just shy of two pounds. And in the last couple of weeks, I've had my best two roach of the season on the stour at 114 and 19. Again, using this rod. So whether John Dean put a little blessing on each one of these rods, I don't know. I certainly won one of my biggest ever matches whilst using this rod. And although it's maybe an ounce heavier than the latest ultralight rods, it's a good one. Here's a 1.9 roach that I had last week. And I won 14 the week before. Cracking stout roach. And a couple of shots from the day I, my best ever roach day's roach fishing when I had 10 over two pounds up to 211. Again, using that fantastic rod. Stopped fishing for a little while. At that point, I'd had eight over two pounds. <laughs> 